Welcome to day two in our hunky-dory week of webisodes. And today we've got butterflies a flutter Yay. everywhere. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have three new ways of using them. We have oh. die-cut foiled butterflies. Right. We have printed die-cut butterflies. We also have something called liftables. Right. And that's the new way that I'm talking about. It is. And we've got lots of ways to use them. Come, Come play, play with them. us. Now here they are. It's actually two different collections. Exactly. So we've got the die cut butterflies foiled and printed and then we have this big thick pad of liftables. So Let's, what do you want to start we'll with? We'll start with the liftables. Okay. Because okay. that's something different. It is different. It's this nice big pad like I was showing you. It's pretty thick. It's got 30 sheets of die cut pieces and let's just right. maybe get into it. Okay. So here's the deal. You get them um, well, let's just show you. Okay, so the liftable what, part. Why are they called yeah, liftable? See what I can do? I can lift that. Now, I'm not going to remove it because it's not cut all the way. They're just liftable. You can lift up right. those wings and use them. Now, okay, we'll back up a little bit. So this art is in black. You get it in three finishes. So you're okay. going to get 10 sheets of black. And some of them are shaped, uh, two like of them at least are shaped like hearts. And then you'll see that they're shaped all over, kind right. of fluttering. And you get going two out of from those. The center. In rows, very organized, right. you get two of those. In a circle, you get yeah. two of those. Nice wreath shape, two of those. That was all the black. And then oh, kind of the all black. going straight, right. right. Now that's all in black. You're going to get 10. the yeah, that was 10. Then you're going to get the same thing only in gold foiling. Right. So hearts, circles, With um, that beautiful gold foiling, right. all the same design. So you can use these in different ways. And then you're going to get them in silver foiling, as you can see. So again, two each of all of those designs that we just went through. Nice. And we're not done. So in addition to all of those 30 sheets, ah. there are an additional uh, double-sided papers. 24 of these. And these are great. These are really a little bit, I would call them cardstock. They call them papers, but okay. they're pretty they're, they're pretty heavy weight. And you can see that they have this variegated, and then some of them are solid on the back. Some of them, that's kind of a marbled effect. Yeah. I love that you sort of get a haze in the middle of, of color, or you can get white in the middle. And I love the different colors. You can really mix and match right. these. Right. So you're going and to get... colored on the back, too, right? right. A solid color mm -hmm. on the back. So what can you do with them, one might ask. Okay. Here we come to the rescue. <laughs> Look at this. This is a sidestep card. And, and it's kind of a monochromatic look. Now that's right. taking the silver of these uh, liftables, the silver butterflies. Now these were using the ones that were that you saw in straight rows. Okay, so to begin with, our base is the side step. So you can do that in a template or you can get them already die cut and ready for right. you. I do feel, feel like I want to find some of what's in there. Oh. So, so we saw with the silver, we're seeing, here we go. Here we go. You're, you're taking these butterflies. So you're going to cut strips. A strip. A strip. But you'll cut them all in, in two strips. And for one strip, you're going to use uh, one strip like this and three of those butterflies placed like that. And once you put them on your card, you can lift those yeah, wings. Just don't glue the wings down. Okay, so just like this and just lift that up you get the shine we did add a little rhinestone there for the head so you can do that and i think it's nice to have a darker color behind them because mm -hmm. then that is really going to pop we've added some of our uh one that we love which is the silver linen so right. we've added that as a matting behind but, but it. But you're also seeing oh, this, the papers okay. from the liftables pad. So you've got that gray scale that you can use as well. And this one, you can see how the edge was used and then it's coming into that lighter area that's in the center. Right, but let me show you a little bit okay. what was done with those. So you've got these strips. So here's that strip. And like we talked about, if I pop to the left and right, you can really lift those wings just as high as you like, and you can leave them in place just like so. So you've got that done, or you can cut them out. 
And the easy way to cut them out, I used a retractable pen knife. I've got my mat here. And you can just sort of start at those, um, right at the head of the butterfly, go around the top of it, and then you can cut around the bottom of it, just like so. Since the rest of it's already die cut, right. you're just doing those two really little bits. Really simple to just release that butterfly. And another thing that I did is just, if you want to add a little bit of sparkle, I've got a clear wink of, uh, Stella. Wink of Stella pen. And then just do this, and you've got a little bit of sparkle. And that'll ah. dry pretty quickly, and you'll have a sparkly little butterfly. So that just nice. adds something nice. You can use the colored uh, Wink of Stella as well. Sure. And you've got them uh, zotted onto or foam taped onto the steps. You can see as we back up a little bit that each of the steps also has the paper on it that was used out of the booklet. So right there. And of course the uh, die cut cards have the paper patterns in them. Right. And I, I do like that uh, silver linen. It yeah. just adds a nice little touch because it matches with that silver printing. I also love that when you lift these wings, you can see the black card stuff mm -hmm. that was placed behind there. That gives a real nice look. And we've also used the 42 card greetings dazzles. That happy birthday is just so striking right yeah. on there. So you can see, let's see, I just should show you the baby bling that we used. You get um, whole bunch I think there's 72 or 144 in so that package. So that's a pretty basic way of using yeah. them. Leaving them white, add a little sparkle with Wink of Stella if you want. Really monochromatic look or you can Very get nice. a little more colorful. Okay here's the or more so like colorful so. Yeah. and this is obviously the heart shape and we did just uh, trim out around the edge around of that. Around the outer edge and also uh, they were colored in with Spectrum Noir so you can color ah. right on there. Spectrum Noir pens. Nice to and then in the background, you're seeing some of those papers. Now, I'll note in the background that we've got, so one of those papers, one that goes the gradient from pink to purples to a little bit of white. And then when you turn them over, you've got a solid oh, color. So you've okay. got that purple at the bottom and at the top. And you're right. We did add some dazzles. These are the border jewel dazzles in purple and in gold to right. highlight that and playing along with the uh, word dazzles, the so, greetings. So the set that was used to color those in, mm -hmm. these were the pastel sets, the Spectrum Noir. It's a pretty nice big set. This is the one we used the in The 24 tech. pack. And I pulled out a couple of those colors. They're really pale, uh, kind of a lilac and a pink, just to show you. Really simple, really fun. Just start uh, coloring in, and it's not going to remove that foil. So I'm just going back and forth. I'm going to color in the top of the wing. And then maybe I'll take a pink and color in the bottom. So really simple and really quick. And remember, those are all going to be lifted up afterwards. So you have these cute little colored butterfly wings lifting right. up. But the next thing that was done was that it was cut out. Now you can see sort of a general heart shape with the butterflies. So all you have to do is make sure that you're about a sixteenth of, of an inch outside of those little butterfly wings. I'm going to follow that first one. Just make sure you don't cut into the die cut area and just sort of loosely cut around. And once you get all the way around, you will have a heart shape like you see. It'll just make it for you because right. of the place of the butterflies. Just following, you can see that it sort of is making that heart shape as I go around. And you can see that right there on the front of the car. Excellent, and there it is all cut out. So just following that outside edge. Now if you didn't want to do that, you could cut it in a rectangle, you can do whatever you want. But there you get the heart shape. Right. And now you did talk about adding color, but you can also do it into the black ones. And that's what's been done here. And those butterflies are fluttering behind a beautiful array of uh, wildflowers. Oh, wildflowers. Isn't that beautiful? And that comes from the stamp set that's named Unforgettable. And so you can see, especially these, there they go. Those pieces are just overlapped here to Isn't create that, that oh, I think it's gorgeous. I saw you doing this yesterday, so, actually. <laughs> so, this was done, so this was done with the Tim Holtz Mini Distress Ink Pad Sets. Actually, three were used here, and I sort of lined them up in a little tin here. So I believe number two, number seven, and number nine, you can check the <laughs> gallery for accuracy here. But start by taking those, um, those stamps, 
and just stamping. Oh, did you start with the paper, or did you color yes, that? You no, started the, with the one paper of the papers. Is okay. straight out of that set, oh, so nice. you've got this nice background all ready to go. Okay. And so choose ink pads that are going to match those colors, right. and start stamping them in different colors. Now I just used stamped. I just stamped directly onto there. For the next one, I wanted to show you. So you want a little bit of shadows in the background, a little bit lighter. So here's a frayed burlap, I believe, is the one that's used next. I'm going to ink up the stamp, just like so. And we're going to do stamping off real quickly. So get that on there. And before I stamp onto the paper, I'm going to stamp onto the back, um, before I stamp onto my background. Then when I stamp onto here, it's going to have a lighter shadowed right. effect. And I do that a few times, and that really creates um, a kind of a, a of meadow, it. right? Mm -hmm. It gives you depth. Stamp. This is called stamping off before you stamp onto your piece, and eventually it'll be just filled right. with all of these beautiful flowers. Very simple. Then, if you want to, you can take a couple of the blossoms and do them individually, and and then cut, cut them, them out. out, right? And there are the black butterflies, and those have been colored in. And I see that looks to me like there's some dazzles in the center right? there. Right, it looks like border dazzles yeah. lighting the center. So those were colored in with the mini distress inks as well. And I want to show you a couple of different ways of doing that. Debbie said she used cotton swabs. And you can use directly from the ink pad. Oh, let me see, I've got a purple one here. I've got that purple. Just get a little bit of that ink on there. And you can make it as dark or as light as you like. You can sort of make it light and hazy. That's a nice look, too. And pretty simple to color in that way. And then choose another color for the lower ones. Another way of coloring those in is to take your little ink pad, go directly onto your craft sheet, get a little ink on there. And then you can use a paintbrush or a water brush to pick up that color and you can sort of paint them in. So a couple of different ways of applying the ink to those and they hold the color really nicely. Okay. Very simple to do. So those were the black ones. Here is another idea. Now isn't this gorgeous? This is a six inch square album and we have used our uh, Sara surfaces. So these come naked. That way you can make them anything you want. Exactly. So do you notice, did you notice that, how that was made? That is just so pretty. It's yes, painted. It is so painted. So you actually uh, painted directly onto the album with the Cosmic Shimmer. Right. This is the iridescent watercolor. watercolor paints. And, uh, and Debbie this said set is Summer Garden. Summer Garden. Debbie said you probably want to put two coats on there, but she was surprised oh. at really how well they coated. They're really not... It's super uh, see-through, so. That's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Boy, you really can. It just right. covers it up beautifully and easily, I might, and, and might easily. add. And easily, so paint that and then start adding these beautiful wreath look and I'll lift up all the wings and they're just so <laughs> gorgeous with that paper. I love that it comes with these papers that you can put there behind there and it makes a nice shadow effect. So I've got those silver wreath uh, butterflies mm -hmm. here and I have the cosmic shimmer iridescent paints remove that cover and just our our fine um, watercolor paintbrush just choose a color and start coloring I didn't quite look at what color she did but that's all right <laughs> very simple to just color them in in any color that you like and you can choose different colors. I'm going to pick up a purple maybe. And, and it's nice that you've it. shown several different methods of coloring these in sure. so that you can use anything that you want. Mm -hmm. And of course with coloring so popular, you've got lots of lots of options. <laughs> really simple to do. I probably would blot that off a yeah. little bit if it gets too wet with a paper towel. And when you're done, you have gorgeous little butterflies. And we have added a couple of things. Life is good is coming from the tiny words and phrases dazzles and the uh, little flowers are from the same one. Those uh, flourishes in the corners are coming from the medallion dazzles. These are st called stack dazzles, but as you and I know, you can use them individually. And of course, the flourishes work nicely. Right, plus you've got, excuse me, you've got the silver linen paper right. matting that. And then on the inside, we're just showing you 
a photo and again that strip of butterflies that has been colored in and the paper in the background both of the, the paper that the card was the photo was matted on and the background paper directly from the liftables pad and the cherish is from that tiny words and the little heart is from the stacked medallion so so um, make a beautiful yeah, album look inside at the and out. silver oh, linen well, there that. isn't on that the gorgeous inside. nice yes touch. beautiful Wow. Beautiful. There's a lot you can do. There and is. now and we're still going. Well, we're going to go to the second set. Okay. And this is really more what you would think about with Hunky Dory. And it's got six sheets of foil. So there's 144 foil butterflies. And what's interesting is all the colors. Look at that. So even though it's the same sheet right. six times, you've got all of those colors, right. which is in just gem, perfect. In gem tones, so, yeah, in, in uh, greens, <laughs> and blues. So yeah, each sheet, so six of the foiled, all the same look, and 144 die cuts of those. They all look the same, but that's an awful lot of die cut butterflies. Easy to pop out and embellish your cards or scrapbook pages, anything. In addition, we have six sheets of these butterflies that are printed and die cut. This is gonna give you 180 butterflies, wow. just like this. So all together with both of them, okay. there are 324 butterflies. Absolutely and, fabulous. Yes, and <laughs> that was just the printed one is what we had on the center That's of the right. album. I love the artwork on these because they look real. This is a real yeah. look artwork. I mean, it's a little bit sketchy, but they still look like really real butterflies. Yeah. Okay, now here okay. is another way that you can combine them. And you can see, you can see the gold flashing, but this is the liftable right there. Mm -hmm and the center and some jewel dazzles. And then there are two layers of the uh, foil. Of the foil die cuts, we'll just a little bit up. of jewel dazzles on there and yeah. just an added sparkle on that gatefold card. Right, and isn't just that a, pretty? Just a few adding to the artwork with these uh, botanical frames, botanical frames uh, papers. And this is, is um, using the inside outside greeting dazzles. So the thank you, you make me smile is just lovely. Gatefold, you remember, really simple. Take a basic card, which is already scored in the center, and then add a score two and a half inches from each edge on this uh, five inch by six and a half inch card and then uh, fold them into the center and then you have a nice gatefold. Really simple to accomplish that card. The other things I forgot to mention, and we'll get in closer so you can see, is on the edge, the thin line dazzles. This is, of course, the gold. It's so and easy to make a, just an extra yeah. little added touch with that to finished look to your card. And they there match are, that gold foil nicely. There's 63 there. And then the teal dazzles that have been added into the center of the butterflies along the body and the head. And I, and I love how the butterflies are going off the edge of that card right there in the center. Just make sure that you glue or foam tape only onto one side <laughs> of your card. The left side. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now we are going to go with a favorite, which is a pop-up pop -up box. box. And boy, look at this puppy. Pops. <laughs> it really pops. Isn't this gorgeous? <laughs> okay, so it arrives like this. You're looking at it and you go, let's open this up and wow. What an look explosion at that. of foil. How so fun. So add those die cuts. I mean, they're perfect for an exploding box. They are. box. And of course, you could cover these with the papers from the liftable pad you or could. anything else, but that beautiful we didn't. mirror finish. <laughs> these are from the mirror sheets and they are like dazzle sheets because they are adhesive on the back and that's covering each of the panels that you're seeing. Then you add those butterflies. Right. And, and they this, come in a variety of colors. They do. As well. You're going to get so you're um, getting pinks, you're getting blues and purples, golds and silvers. Absolutely gorgeous finish on there. Just a beautiful look. There's actually another one right here. Here we yep. go. There's another one here. There's the blue. <laughs> the they silver. just kind of keep going. How many are Four, there? Ten, eight, ten. I think. Right. Yeah. So you get those and you can see what a wow they right. provide. So you're going to start, and the, uh, the, let's see, the box or the die cut to yeah. package for this comes with this paper pattern here for, uh, you cut that out right. and use that as a pattern for cutting these sheets exactly. and you can map them and so, get a little better look there. And how fun they are as a background to those foiled butterflies, just, and 
you know, you just have to open it because it's just right. so striking. You're also seeing the tiny tags and little labels the and greetings stamp set and the cutting dies for right. cutting those out. Let me just show you those. There is the stamp right. set, tiny tags, little greetings, and there is the uh, cutting die. Just to add they quick little coordinate. sentiments and I, and I love how some of the labels are cut in half and put on the edges mm -hmm. of those. It just creates some interest there. I love this backing. Gee, so that's really pretty. The box itself, real simple to do, follow the instructions, but you're basically going to get it like this. When you open it up, it is scored and ready to fold. And the first thing you're going to do is put ultra tape or extra sticky tape on that tab. I'm going mm -hmm. to go ahead and remove that. That's going to be folded back and attached to the other end of your card. Probably should have folded that before I removed <laughs> the covering. So each of these are scored. No, no. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> scored. They're going to fold just like go. so. And this is going to attach right here. Just, just line folds right it over. up. And it's amazing because it's such a, a magnificent look and yet it's so easy to put right. together. And then once you decorate it, one of the one of the sides is not scored. That's going to be the back. Right. It's going to lay flat like so. You're going to the, the others are scored, so they will fold down to decorate and to pop up as you like. And you're going to attach these tabs to the inside. These long uh, pieces are scored at each end, like so. Put ultra tape on each end. Go ahead and, and bring the other the, one. Okay. Because I think it's I think it's helpful to see that um, if you place it down on your table in front of you, this is how they're going to go into the inside area of the box. Right. So these tabs are going to be against the edges. So this one is going to slide staying right at the top and it's going to get attached right there. This one is going to get attached right here. Right. And you can keep that close to the top of your box. Yeah, you there. need to. And uh, thankfully, really great photo <laughs> instructions come with that little box. So really simple to understand. And then you have the acetate pieces, mm -hmm. which are going to cut in about quarter inch strips. They're in the package. They come, yeah. The, there's a strip. That there's you cut one apart. strip yeah. that you're going to cut into quarter inch strips. And then you can use these, put your little butterflies on the ends of them. And then tape and them. And then tape them to the back right. of the front, to those uh, cross front pieces of the back. there. <laughs> Real simple. And you're going to get the beauty and of course this there's envelopes in that package and you just slide it in flat and let your recipient just have a wonderful breathtaking aha surprise absolutely <laughs> and this so is a happy birthday look. so and quite so much fun to use those butterflies a lot you can do right. and that's what i appreciate so we've got and I, love, the, I love that there's so many of them that yeah. there's six sheets of each of these and 324 of those foiled and printed die cut butterflies and then in addition we have the liftables with the uh papers that are added and you've got it in silver, right. gold, and 30 black. 30 sheets of those liftables yeah. and another 24 sheets of coordinating papers which so. go great with these butterflies. We promised you a week full of fun things to do <laughs> with unique Hunky Dory products and please join us tomorrow when we go more into Hunky Dory. See you then.